It's time now for look at least in local sports and sports of busy week for the high school baseball team. It begins this afternoon at 6 p.m. in Baxley to take on the Pirates. Our pregame will begin at 5.50 p.m., weatherman permitting. There's just one of four games this week. Tuesday, the team at home hosting Metter at 6. Friday at home hosting Jeff Davis at 6. And Saturday at home hosting Thomas County Central for a 3.30 afternoon game. Rain is in the forecast today, is for, and for some reason this game today is called. Makeup date's already been scheduled. They will play it Thursday of this week if they get rained out today. A special ceremony planned in Appling County before the game is to recognize their state championship team with Major League player Byron Buxton on hand for the event with his teammates. Again, that's set for the pregame for tonight's game. Once again, weatherman preventing pregame at 5.50, first pitch at 6 p.m. High school basketball region tournament gets underway today as Wayne County will have a playing game here at the Benny Radliff Arena as they will take on the six-seeded team, the Islands, Wayne County, the five-seed. Again, they have to win today. And then he, if they win, they play tomorrow south against Southeast Bullock. Boys need two wins to advance to the state tournament. The girls are the number one seed. The tournament being held at New Hampshire's Gymnasium. Our Wayne County girls are in action this Wednesday, taking on Southeast Bullock. Again, the region tournament underway. Again, Wayne County boys this afternoon at home. Benny Radliff Arena taking on the Islands at 5.30 p.m. This past weekend, one varsity girl wrestler, three varsity boy wrestlers punched their ticket to Macon in the state event. Again, the Wayne County wrestlers will head to Macon Thursday morning to compete in the GHSA Traditional State Championships. Ariana Remy Yi in the girls' 100 qualified for the state event, finishing in fifth at Harris County High School. She's also the first wrestler to hit 30-plus wins this season. Tristan Yarbrough, Jaden Leak, and Dawson Sykes qualified in the boys' event. At Troop County, Yarborough finished sixth, Leak finished fifth, and Sykes finished fourth. Blake Williams and Noah Murphy finished seventh in their weight class. They are hopefuls to enter the tournament as a replacement if a scratch occurs on Wednesday night. Wayne County Touchdown Club held its annual $10,000 drawing this past Saturday. Great event on hand for the event. Entertainment by the Dakota Duo. Several $500 winners throughout the evening. Mickey Harder, Timmy Roger, Heather Harris all won $500. Several gun raffles throughout the, neat, throughout the evening. Winning a gun on Saturday. Nancy Freeman, Buster Johnson, and Donnie Ray all won guns that were donated to the club. Drawing came down to the last five tickets, and they all agreed to split. The winners each walking away with $2,000. Thomas Dowd, Andy Beaver, and Andy Lamb shared a ticket. Ed Brewer, Michelle Parker, and Tommy Reddish. Our congratulations to the winners. Mark McGregor won a 50-50 drawing, also won $500. The biggest winner of the kids in the football program is all the money raised Saturday night by the Wayne County Touchdown Club goes back to the program and provides meals and equipment for the Wayne County football program. It's the biggest fundraiser of the year for the Wayne County Touchdown Club. And in the last several years, again, always held on Super Bowl Saturday night. Again, a big event held this past Saturday. Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas goes in overtime, and Kansas City Chiefs win 25-22. Win their third Super Bowl in the past four years. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes wins his third Super Bowl MVP as he leads his team on a 13-play, 75-yard drive to win the game, hitting former Georgia player McCole Hardman for the game-winning touchdown. Mahomes threw for 333 yards in the game. Niners did a great job of shutting down the Chiefs' running attack. This game was tied 19-19 at the end of regulation. Key moment, a missed P. By San Francisco. Niners had the ball first in overtime, went down and settled for a field goal to go up 22 19. But Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs drive the length of the field, you know, 75 yards for the winning touchdown. Well, they set their place in history as the new NFL dynasty. Andy Reid, now a three time Super Bowl champion. Again, the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl by a final of 25 22. Finally, in sports, the Pine Forest. Men's Golf Association getting ready for their annual Winter Blues Golf Tournament. It's a three-person shamble and scramble, 27-hole one-day event. Set for Saturday, March the 2nd, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start. Cost for your team is $330. They also provide a fried chicken lunch that afternoon. Again, if you need more information or sign your team up, call the Pro Shop at the Pine Forest Country Club. That number, 912-427-6505. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.